Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Tarot. I'm here to do to, today to do a special message, a special reading. Um, my angels, my team, my guides put it on my heart to do this reading today. Um, with my last round of videos, first, I want to thank you as a collective for all of the love that you've show, shown me since I got on YouTube, but this last round of videos hit real different. Um, several of them are in huge numbers, and with that comes um, comments and um, interaction with people about these readings. So... Um, first, let me tell you, I don't give a hoot about a subscriber count. Not one care do I give. I have very special and direct instructions about what I am to do with this platform. And I'm going to follow it to the letter. So, if um, you are in my comment section and you're being... Um, nasty because I don't just read your words. I read your intent behind your words. I read energy, cards, people, body language, the whole gamut. So you're not going to be able to fool me. So if you get a reading and it kind of scratches on your surface like sandpaper and you think you're going to take out your frustrations on me, I'm not the one. I am only the messenger. Get to the point of view or the part of you that is bothered by the message and work on that part. But if you decide to come into my comments and you're not integral and I can pick up on your garbage, I'm going to call you out on the garbage. If you then continue to think you're going to go rounds with me, I will block you. I don't give a hoot about subscriber counts. What I give a hoot about is cultivating the right energy so I can fulfill my mission as set forth by the divine. That's all that I don't give a hoot about a subscriber account. And I'm not going to stand on ceremony. So the same person that you see reading and the same uh, attitude or personality, I'm the same. I'm wrapped in all of this human. Yes, I am spiritual, but I am also human. And I will block your tail. I simply deliver the message. That's all. The message that God designs me to deliver. So if you consider it harsh, God is harsh. He's not, for those people that uh, say, oh, your delivery is too hard. God doesn't always speak kindly. Sometimes harshness is necessary. I don't like sitting in toxic energy. And so when I'm in toxic energy and I'm getting the message across, if I'm irritated, I, yeah, I'm irritated because it doesn't feel good to sit in your toxicity. I've worked hard to get my toxicity out of my life and I don't want to sit in yours. So if the message comes through harsh, it's because it's needed. And because I don't like sitting there, I'll get it out real quick. And yes, it's harsh, but I want to move on. And after the fact, I, I do a uh, self-introspection. I do introspection on myself. And I'm always reminded that that harshness is necessary. So when I get a message and it's delivered harsh, I know it's because you've ignored every other sign. But don't get your tail in my comment section. Think you're going to go rounds and rounds with me. Because I'm not going to do that. I'll just block you because I don't want to entertain that energy. And it's unproductive to the energy that I'm trying to cultivate on this channel. So anybody that acts in that way, you will be blocked. And I'm not going to remove you. You will be blocked. You'll still be able to get the message, but you won't be able to contribute your nastiness in the comment section. So I was told to tell you guys all of that. I am going to be as transparent about who I am as, as I am in my real life. And if my personality is offensive to you, then there are many other great readers on YouTube. Check them out. 
but I'm here to deliver messages, important messages for the outcome, the highest good of all involved. And if you already have a pre conceived notion about who I am. It's not going to allow you to receive the message. So do yourself a favor and me a favor and remove yourself. Don't find a need to get your tail in my comment section, because if you do, I'm going to meet that same energy. What you get out, what you put out is what you get back. I'm human. And after I tell you what I need you to know, you don't affect me from then on out. I block your tail and I go back to my Zen place. But I am very, very serious about boundaries in my real life and here. I'm the same everywhere I go. So now that those unpleasant trees are out of the way, let me tell you that for the people that get in the comment sections and you radiate your light and you can, you, uh, encourage other people that you um, here have similar stories. That's beautiful. That's the energy that I'm trying to cultivate here. That's the energy that we will cultivate here. And anything that comes against it will be removed expeditiously. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of love and light, you are welcome here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a general reading for the collective regarding the development of our channel, of our family. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. And I'm going to pull one card for a general read on the energy from my Archangel Power Tarot deck. This is the deck. And it was wrapped in yellow ribbon. I guess this is why I was sent here. It's all about strength, the solar plexus, Mani Pura, City of Gems. Strengthening this channel, growing this channel, strengthening our energetic connection, and collectively raising our vibrations. One card for a general read on the energy, please. Thank you. I get two. I'll take both. So, both are face down, so unknown. What good stuff does the divine have for us? Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Yes. Let me tell you something. I was petitioned by my angels and guides for months. I, I want to say a year about doing this channel. Now, my spiritual work I've been doing since I was 19. I'm new to YouTube, but not to spiritual work. So um, I received this huge download um, where the energetic impressions of everyone that I was going to be attached to on this channel was downloaded into my being. This download was like a flash of faces. Um, quickly, like if you were to pull the lever on a jackpot machine, you know how those, um, how they rotate and they quickly show you different images. So I was installed all of the impressions energetically from everyone that I will be attached to um, through this channel. This download was a painful download in the physical, meaning it was a, like a zap of energy. It rendered, I couldn't open my eyes or anything. I didn't remember it until the next day, but the energy, the installation of you guys' energy took so long that I slept for nine hours seeing these energies or these images. I can recognize your energy and put your face to those impressions that God the divine gave to me long before I started this channel, okay? So I know that my sub count is going to be huge. This installation flashing all of these faces took over nine hours. So I'm not worried about a subscription uh, count. What I'm worried about or what I'm concerned about, I'm not worried about anything. I'm concerned about 
connecting with those energies that I'm here to connect with. So if on the first site that you show me that you're not supposed to be here on this channel, you'll get blocked. So Ace of Gabriel, Ace of Pentacles opportunity here on this channel, not just for me, but for everybody involved. We are growing and learning together. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Absolutely it is. I feel it with every fiber in me. And then also unknown. These are both tangible cards. Get that. Knight of Gabriel, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, and charismatic. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. Yeah, I got strong, strict instructions. And I take my assignment serious. And I'm not going to let anybody, and I remain, I mean anybody, stop me from fulfilling my divine purpose or assignment. Not going to happen. So if you ex exhibit those energies that are not conducive to us growing, at the first sight, you will be blocked. I will not block you from the message, but you will definitely be blocked from being able to contribute your venom in the comment section. I'm serious about it. I'm going to, where am I going for the main read? I'll do um, my uh, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck for the main read, just to give us um, a few cards to outline the journey of our channel, our growth, our development, our directives. What do we have? Thank you. And I was told that's enough. So we have three cards and I'm going to clarify all three about this partnership. I always pull from the bottom. First card out partnerships and alliances. Card number three. Threes are about connection, communication, specifically with the angelic realm. So about this channel, about you and I, our partnership together. This is not designed to be a one-way transaction. You lend me your energy. I read your energy. We grow together using the directives of the divine. And we get a material harvest. So not just a, a spiritual harvest, harvest, but we grow in spirit and truth is what I just heard. And then the final card is another number three. I don't make this up. Just this Connection, this partnership, this alliance is divinely driven and orchestrated. Rejoice in celebration. Rejoicing, celebration, coming together, reunion. Three, nine, three. All right, so let's see. We will do, let's do playing cards to clarify, and I'll start with partnerships and alliances. You know what? I'm going to go away from playing cards. I'm going to use traditional Rider Waite. I think we'll get a more detailed reading using traditional Rider Waite. Wrapped in blue. All about truth. All about um, the throat chakra. Vishuddha. Vishuddhi is the Sanskrit word for it. What do we have for partnerships and alliances? Tell the story of partnerships and alliances, please, as it refers to our beautiful community, family, and channel. Partnerships and alliances. Let me clarify. This is definitely a partnership. I cannot read your energy without you allowing me to uh, tap into it. So there has to be a subconscious, at least, um, 
offering of your energy. And the way that I am able to read those energies is because we are all energetically connected. And I am simply gifted with the ability from the divine to tap into that part of me that is you. And the way that I have developed this ability is um, learning to center myself. You have to first know who you are and dig through those layers before you can recognize anything else. So what do we have for partnerships and alliances? Tell the story about partnerships and alliances, please. Partnerships and alliances. Why is it here? Thank you. Partnerships and alliances. Why is it here? Thank you. All right. So I have all of this falling out. First card out is this three of wands in reverse. In the upright, this is you've done all the work you can do. You're just simply waiting on your ships to come in. This partnership and alliance is about doing the work is what I just heard. What work? Soul work, spiritual work, reparation of the soul, retrieval of the soul, fortification of the soul, enlightenment of the soul. All words I hear. Also unknown. Dismantling. And the upright, this is com double confirmation. This one is reversed. So three of cups, three of cups, double confirmation. Rejoice and celebration is the upright. But what I hear is this: there is going to be dismantling of structured thinking. Also unknown. Seeing options clearly. So this is confusions, illusions. This is will be a removal of of confusion, making things clear, not just in the 3D, but in other realms, seeing things clearly, also unknown, about this King of Pentacles energy. King of Pentacles is someone who enjoys and lives a life of luxuries. And I'm not just talking about luxuries in the physical. We're talking about spiritual, being spiritually and materially full. And so that's all the things that we will gain with this partnership and alliance. We'll do the work. We will dismantle uh, structured thinking. We'll come out of confusion about the bounty that is ours to claim. That's exactly what this says. Now let's see about this bounty. What is, what's in this bounty for us? Tell us about this material harvest. Tell us about the material harvest, please. Why is material harvest here? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have quite a few. I'll go ahead and start. So we have all of this plus this. This came out first. They're all face down. Material harvest is here because we are moving past. Be, uh, the. What I hear is that being afraid to show who fully who we are to the world. You don't have to hide. God knows who you are. And if he's good and comfortable with who you are, don't you dare hide yourself from anyone, any being. Step fully into who you are. Stop uh, shrinking yourself to fit into a mold we don't fit into a mold. We make, we break molds and we make a new one. Also, material harvest is here. When we put an end to our negative or limiting thinking. Represented with the world. Also, when we become, take a step back to evaluate all of those things that we have done for all of these years. 
and we see if we are doing those out of habit or if they're actually effective. It's about evaluating all those things that we were taught to do. Are we doing them because they work or because that's what we were taught to do? Also unknown about this two of cups. And this two of cups is not any like any other two of cups that you will ever know. This is a two of cups relationship with the divine, with God. He seeks to have us one-on-one. -on -one. He seeks to build a relationship with, with you one-on-one. -on -one. This is soulmate energy. This is the yummy stuff. This is mutual adoration, respect and love. See, he doesn't want you to just heap it on him. He wants to heap it on you in this material harvest. Also unknown. And to come out of a place where you feel like you have to do it alone. See, here you're fruitful and abundant in the material, but you're alone. This is a single energy. He wants you to know you're never alone. Never, never, never. He is always with you. Now, when I say he forgot, I'm not saying masculine energy. It's something I was indoctrinated to do. So if that bothers you, get to the point where you understand that even if you hear a pronoun you don't like, if the energy matches what you feel, get over the pronoun. And then finally for material harvest, this is about, in the upright, this is about tempering your emotions. This is about going at a full throttle. Don't hold back. Emerge yourself in this new partnership, in this alliance. So we can get ourselves collectively where we need to be. Don't sneak. Don't hide undercover about who you truly are. There's no need. God sees your heart. He's pleased with you. Anybody else that sees uh, has an issue, that's their issue. Go boldly. Be bold in the things that you know. Doesn't matter what somebody else thinks of you. If God is telling you that he's pleased, then that's all that matters. Believe me, my family is afraid of Tarot. You think that I care about what they think about me reading Tarot, about me channeling spirit, about me doing those things that God has designed me to do? No, I used to. Not anymore. I am boldly me. Rejoice and celebration. Why is it here? Why is rejoice and celebration here? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your journey. And it has been a journey for me. I can only tell you guys these things because I've done them myself. Thank you. And I have three cards and that's gonna be it. So I heard that clearly, that's why I said that. So rejoices and celebration is here about this union, about this choice to love, love of the divine. This is love on a totally different level. It's about opening up, letting go to all of those indoctrinated ways of thinking that keep you away from the truth. And then finally, it's about positive movement forward with the chariot. Okay, I can't make it up. This is what we're here to do. And if you've been drawn to my channel and further drawn to subscribe, you're a part of this plan. And I need you all hands on deck. Let's get one card of advice for navigating this energy. One card of advice for navigating the energy set forth in this reading regarding 
this alliance here on at Fifth Element Tarot. One card, please, for navigating this energy. We need to be clear on our messages, clear on our directives, clear on this partnership and alliance. One card, please, that feels good for navigating the energy set forth in this spread. One card, please, for navigating this energy. What do you need us to know? One card for navigating this energy. One card, please, for navigating this energy. And I just realized that um, I did not turn a light on. I just realized that. So we are here to turn on a light. Okay? One card for navigating the energy in this reading, please. One card, and our card is out. Thank you. And I'm sure it has something to do with lighting or a light because I had to say that before that card would come out. So unknown, face down. Identity. Yes, yes, yes. You see that? You see that? Identity. Know who you be. Know what role you play in this whole continuum. Know what role you play in this partnership, in this alliance. I'm looking for identity in the book. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your clear and concise message. Hold on. I'm going to turn on the light so you can see this card. It's beautiful. All right. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are so good to me. Identity, remove all masks of false beliefs and shine as your godly self. I told you it was about turning on a light. Shine as your godly self. The self-image is the key to human personality and human behavior. Change the self-image and you change the personality and the behavior. That's by Maxwell Maltz. Cart message. You have thought of yourself as having certain qualities with feelings and emotions that define your character. You've become identified with your body, mind, belief patterns, and material objects. You masked your passions and desires with these false impressions because you have utterly forgotten your real nature. Every day you're impersonating different characteristics according to your changing feelings that dance with your current thought patterns. Realize that these characteristics are not part of your true nature. When you realize this, you will be able to cast off these delusive states and step into your divine self. That's what we're doing here. We're stepping into our divine selves. Explore the beliefs you carry about who you are. Take a good look within and see where these programs originated. What do you believe about yourself? Are you really who you think you are? Are you wearing masks created by what others perceived you to be? It came out in the card. Don't ever dumb yourself down to fit into anybody's mold. Are you entangled in feelings while imagining you have no choice? Do you even know who you are? Do you really truly know who you are? Deeply analyze your thoughts, emotions, and feelings. Realize they arise from past conditioning. Your soul has identified itself with emotions and you have imprisoned yourself in various moods that cause all of your suffering. You have put on masks created by false beliefs that have been fed by the stimuli of emotions. This illusion is so powerful. Distortions have become truths you believe about yourself. Your feelings are beliefs, excuse me, your feelings and beliefs have masked your soul. The way to escape is to dissolve the feelings and emotions connected with body consciousness. Meditation is the way to achieve this. You are not any of these masks. You are pure, calm spirit. Your beautiful soul is blessed, is the blessed reflection of spirit. It's time for you to take off the mask of delusion and face your real self. You will absolutely love what you find. Introspection. What mask am I ready to release? Are my beliefs the absolute truth about myself? 
What negative beliefs are holding me back from fulfilling my dreams? Affirmation. My identity is the essence of pure spirit. Say it with me. My identity is the essence of pure spirit. Absolutely it is. Hey guys, if you haven't discovered your identity, that beautiful you, I'm here to help you. I need you to. The quicker you discover who you truly are, the more powerful we become as a unit. That's my goal, to see you step into your true divine self. That's my assignment, and I take it seriously. I hope this message was helpful for you guys. I am so excited about the assignment that God has given me. I am so excited about this partnership, this alliance. I want you to be excited too. It's not a one-way street. We'll learn from each other. We'll grow with each other. Until next time, please guys, don't forget to check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until next time, my beautiful people, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.